Hello viewers, in this video we are going to look at one of the most powerful version control system which is Git. Subscribe to my channel to get alerts on new videos from my channel. So before getting into Git, we need to understand the need for version control of our code. In a project, we all work as a team. So each team member will be working on some functionality or the other. At the end, all these functionalities need to be integrated together. So each team member will have a local copy of the code that needs to be pushed to the server on each day or after some logical closure. So multiple people working on a project with multiple changes to a functionality need to be tracked well to avoid confusion. So this is where the version control comes into play. Say for example, I have completed 25% of the functionality and I called it a day. Next day, I tried to work on some additional features but somehow I messed up with my code. So I want to revert my code to the previous version, that is the version which I had yesterday. Using git, we can get the previous version of the code to work on. To use git, go to github.com, then sign up for a new account. In this tutorial, I am going to create an account for myself and explain you how to work with github. So when you are in an organization, you can sign using your organization details. So I have created a github account for techytalkie at gmail.com. Now you are into github. The next step would be to create a new project on the server and for this purpose we will be using git bash. Git bash is an application in windows environment that helps you work on github using command line. To install git bash on windows go to git-scm.com slash downloads. There you can see the windows downloadable version of git bash. Just click on it and go ahead and install git bash on your local machine. So now we have set up git and git bash. The next step would be to create a repository. Click on create repository. There you will be asked to give the repository name where you can give something like test. So this is a test repository that I am creating. So I am giving test here. Then I am making this repository public and I am giving create repository. So I have got a test repository created here. The next step is to create a new file or you can upload an existing file. So what I am going to do is I will be creating a new file. Say I will say hello and this is going to be a test document. Then I will commit the changes. The commit message is going to be create test doc and then I will commit the changes. To work on this repository what I will be doing is that I will be cloning it to my local machine. So I will give code and then whatever I see here in the HTTPS I am going to copy that URL to the clipboard. Then in my local machine under D GitHub I, I want this repository to be cloned. So what I will do is I will give shift right click to open git bash here. In the newly opened git bash give git clone followed by the repository URL that needs to be cloned here. We can see that the URL is now cloned and it says 100% done. So in your local machine under github you can see the test folder there which will have the test doc file. When you open the file you can see the content whatever you wrote in document. So this is how you clone the repository from github to your local machine. Now you are free to write your code here in this repository. So let's say I am going to create another document which is sample and say welcome inside that sample text file. So I need to add this file to the github inside test open git bash and then give git add followed by dot. So this is going to add the documents from the user space to the local repository. Next we need to commit the changes. So for that I will give git commit hyphen m followed by a commit message whatever I want to give. I will say new document. 
so the changes are now committed now i need to push the data from the local repository to the remote repository so i'll give git push which is going to push the changes to the main branch of the github so here inside the test repository i can see two documents one is the test document the other one is the sample.txt which i have created one minute back if i click on this sample text i'll be able to see the commit message that i have specified here now what if i update this document in my local machine so let's say i open the sample file and then i'll say welcome to techie talkie and i want this change to be pushed to github go to git bash first let's check the status of the current version so for that i'll give git status which is going to tell me that sample.txt got modified then i'll have to issue the same set of commands which is git space add space dot which is going to add the documents to my local repository then i'll have to commit the changes by saying git commit hyphen n then i'll say updated doc so now the changes will be committed to the local repository and now i need to push it to the remote repository by saying git push once it is done just go to the browser and then click on refresh it is going to show you the updated document which is welcome to techie talkie when you click on the history it will show you the commit comments where like the first commit was new doc the second commit was updated with updated doc let's say your code is well developed and tested and ready to move to production meanwhile you want to work on the next set of requirements but you do not want to disturb the production ready code in that case you can go for branching this is one of the many scenarios that you will encounter in your project so which demands to work on branches in github so branching in github is one way in which you can create a new branch or a snapshot of the code and make changes to it without touching the main code so first issue the git status command and check if you are in the main branch i'll give git status it says on main branch your branch is up to date with origin slash main now that you are in your main branch let's go ahead and create a new branch so i'll give git branch and any branch name in this example i'm going to give new branch so a new branch got created we can check that by giving git log which is going to tell us the branches that we have there so in head we have main and then we have new branch so both main and new branch are pointing to head the reason why we created a new branch is to start working on the new branch so we have to move from the main branch to the new branch to make our code changes for that we'll have to issue the checkout command so for that i'll issue git checkout new branch so now we can see that we are into the new branch of the github repository and in this new branch i want to make a change say this is new branch so this is one change that i want to make in this text document in my local repository i have created a new branch and i have made changes to one of the documents so to move this new branch and the changes that you have made to github you have to give git add followed by dot then give git commit hyphen m followed by your new commit message that you want to give so your changes will be moved to the local repository then you will have to push this to your remote repository where you will give git push origin new branch so this is going to push the changes to the remote repository now if you refresh your browser you can see the main branch containing welcome to techie talkie in sample.txt and 
a new branch that got created here which has this sample.txt which is going to have this additional statement which is this is a new branch. So this is how you can have your new branch created. Now consider this scenario where the code you were already working on is pushed to production and now you want these changes also to be production ready where you want to push the changes to production. So in that case you will have to merge this branch to the main branch. So to merge a new branch to the main branch all that you have to do is first exit from the new branch and check out to the main branch. So I'll give git checkout main where I'll first move to the main branch and from the main branch I'll merge the new branch. So I'll give git merge new branch where it is going to merge the new branch to the main branch. Then you will have to push the changes to the main branch for which you will give git push origin main. Now when I refresh my browser in the sample.txt in the main branch I can see this message as well which is this is new branch. Hope you have got a clear picture on the overview of GitHub and how to get started with it.